Have you ever felt you're doing so much but still feel so unproductive? Have you ever felt so busy and yet so idle? Have you ever felt so heavy and still so carefree? My name is Lauli Betwe and uh, today I just want to bring your attention to the opposite that we have in our life. Have you ever considered the fact that it's the people you love the most that cause you the greatest of pain? Have you ever wondered why it's the words of those who you hold in the high esteem that actually hunt you the most? It's easy for us to miss the little things the small intangible blessings we find in our lives not because we don't appreciate them but because we are overwhelmed by the things that we still do not see and the things we do not understand you can find yourself doing so many things working on a lot of things at the same time and still feel so unfulfilled. There are countless times when I I see myself so busy and I still feel so unproductive, I still feel so unfulfilled, I still feel that emptiness on the inside of me. Avoid that. I just can't seem to feel up. You can hold your horses right there. I'm not trying to go spiritual. Yes, of course. Christ Jesus feels any void. The love of God fills our hearts. But that's not exactly what I'm trying to talk about. And I really hope that some way, somehow, you can actually resonate with this. There are days when I put up everything on my to-do list. I walk through them all and I still feel just so messed up. I could be in a crowd of people and still feel so lonely. And on... On days like that, it's hard to actually find color in anything. Everything just seems to be in grayscale, black and white. So, what I've learned to do on days like that is to shift my eyes from what's not working move my focus from the things that I can't seem to figure out, the issues that seem to weigh me down. And even in the moments when I can't even understand, I can't even point exactly what's troubling me or what's making me feel so unsettled, so unfulfilled, so heavily burdened. Even at that, I decide what to put my mind on. I decide what to focus on. And that really, really goes a long way in helping me move from that emotional state. We all get those, uh, what's the word, those black hole moments, yeah. Well, there is black hole moments when everything is just like a void, like an emptiness. And it comes every now and then. And sometimes it lingers on. It lingers on into mood swings and then begins to seep over into our careers, our relationships, our health, in fact. 
and when it's not checkmate, it begins to evolve into some sort of depression, into some sort of cynical thoughts, and it can become really nasty quite quickly, in fact. So when you find yourself on such roads, don't stress yourself too much trying to figure it out. What you can do, or what I do, is to shift my eyes to something else. Find a happy thought, find a happy moment, find a happy memory. I do things or think about things that shift my focus completely from whatever it is I'm worrying about. I drop whatever it is I'm doing and actually try something else entirely. It could be actually spending time with a loved one. It could be hanging out with friends. It could be reading a book. It could be watching a movie or in my case, anime. Yeah, there were Chinese cartoons. I love those ones. But anyway, the idea is to cut the flow of that emotion and switch over to something else. It really does work. So, maybe you're not like me and you don't feel like that sometimes. Well, good for you. But if you do, you may actually want to consider... How exactly have you been dealing with it? Have you just been shoving it under the carpet? So, I hope you find a way to deal with it. I hope you find strength in knowing that you're not alone. And also that you can actually overcome it. You can master it. You can get out of that emotional state. It's all going to be fine you're going to come out even a whole lot better and stronger. I'm right here. I've survived and I'm still surviving. And I'm thriving. So I believe you can too. And you will. My name is Lali Bitoye. And this is Chris 516. Watch out for our upcoming podcast series on specific topics. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy them. Have a wonderful time.